It is Sunday, um, March 15th, I think, just before lunch. It's about 11.30. Um, the kids are upstairs giving Lily a bath, which she doesn't like, so that's interesting. <laughs> um, husband's going to... Um, we have this shampooer thing for the tile floors, so he's going to do that today. He was just vacuuming. Um, basically, we're doing what we can and getting used to probably being stuck in going forward, at least for a couple weeks. Um, the kids, of course, aren't real happy about it, but it is what it is. We need to do our part to um, delay the progression of the virus. So, yeah, um, keeping ourselves busy when we do go out of the house being mindful of where we're going and what we're doing and that we're not in crowds and if we have to do something like go to the shops that we maybe order for pickup or only one of us goes out or y'all get the idea so anyway yeah that's a thing right our new reality all right I'll be back guys all right so Fred and I are in the car hi Fred <laughs> we are going to go return some stuff to the library. The libraries around here do close starting tomorrow for two weeks to clean and disinfect and reorganize things to provide for CDC recommendations regarding the virus like social distancing and hand sanitizer and all of that stuff. Um, we are staying home right now as much as possible when we do go out. Generally, only one of us is going to go out. We're only going to go places we absolutely have to. If, God forbid, one or more of us become symptomatic, then, of course, we won't be leaving. Um, we're doing our due diligence. That doesn't mean you can't leave the house, in our opinion, like right now. We are leaving the house together, but we're going to be in the car. We're not going to be in a large crowd of people. We're not going to be around people. Um, we might go for a walk later. Yeah. So we'll be... Or just around each other nobody else right so just because that you're told to stay home doesn't mean you need to be necessarily stuck in you're good you live with I live with him and the kids so it's not like I can get away by myself not that I would want to so I can do th things with them like going walking and riding in the car does it mean we can't go on a long ride because I don't want to stop at a restaurant or use a public restroom or anything like yes that's what that means but we can go on short drives and um, we can go do things like what we're going to do now so we're going to be doing that going forward and you know it is an opportunity also to catch up on some things around the house like I showed you some footage earlier Fred was using our shampoo or cleaner thing on the tile um, which we haven't done since the kid mo kids moved in and we need to do be doing it more often than that But water was gross by the way um, Monday, March 16th. Um, is it St. Patrick's Day or is that tomorrow? I don't even know. Anyway, it is 11.43 a.m. I am waiting 
for the next White House press conference about you know what. <laughs> um, yeah, and in the meantime, I'm working on projects and I'm working on a tool bag from Harbor Freight. I'm doing sort of a sunset ocean scene on it. Um, it's a bag I've had in my stash for a while intending to be painted on. So I'm finally getting to that. I'm not keeping it, fun fact. I'm gonna be selling it in the Etsy shop. So if you're interested, message me. My email's in the address, in the description below. Um, I'm also going to be working on filming a kids art video just in a second here. And I'm gonna be linking a document with quite a number of ideas um, fun fact, I used to have a daycare, in-home daycare business from about 1995 to about 2003. I don't actually remember when I closed it exactly. Um, but we had a, um, in-home learning, um, thing that we did, a schooling, and we had, um, arts and crafts and all kinds of things. And so I had recipes for homemade Play-Doh and, um, um, homemade snow globes and all kinds of different things that you could do with the kids. Um, so I went and fished them all out of the old archive files from the old website, um, which is not online anymore. Um, the said files are on my computer. Um, anyway, I formatted um, the information into um, a PDF document. I'll link it down in the description below. And um, in the kids' art video, uh, it'll be linked too if they let me do a description. Fun fact, I don't know. Um, otherwise, I'll talk about it. And I will probably put something about it over in the Facebook group, A Life of Art and Self-Expression. I'll share it where I can. And it will be shareable for you guys to like forward to whoever you want. Um, Yeah, I'm also going to put it on my blog. I'm going to spend today uh, updating the website finally and all of that stuff. So, um, yeah, it's going to be interesting few weeks staying home. But I have plenty of projects to keep me busy, so I don't know about you. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to work on that. Uh, the website's long past needing to be updated. I haven't updated it since the beginning of the year. Literally, everything that happened, I got completely sidelined. So... We're gonna take a deep breath. We're gonna work on that and we're gonna work on doing what we can to do our part to help our world worldwide community, right? To stop the spread. And I'm gonna keep myself busy and keep my family healthy and catch up on projects. All right, that's it for the moment. I'll be back. Yeah, I'm sitting in the stairwell. <laughs> and maintaining social distance while still getting some fresh air and exercise. Well, mostly Lily. Where is she? There, she's back there. You know, I can't run like that. Are you kidding with my knee? Yeah, no. <laughs> anyway, I'll be back. Hey guys, it is Tuesday, March 17th. I think it's St. Patrick's Day. It was been pointed out to me a couple of different times today that I've forgotten all about St. Patrick's Day. I didn't buy any corned beef and cabbage. It's the first time in a long time. But it's been a weird year so far. I think you'd all agree. Um, I spent the day doing some more kid art videos, creating a new intro and ending for them. I'll be doing a few more of them uh, for the channel um, during this crazy time. Um, I did finish the... Harbor Freight tool bag I was painting. I'm not sure I like how it turned out, but there, it says right out the storm. It has 
are on the two ends. And then in, in peace and freedom. So message is good. Uh, I don't know if I like how it turned out, to be honest with you. I'm not keeping it. I'm giving it away. So if one of you all uh, would like it, let me know. I've decided I'm not going to sell it because I don't... It's okay. It's not my favorite thing. But anyway, uh, you let me know. Uh, U.S. only, please. So somebody message me. Maybe we'll have a giveaway. I don't know. First one to message me gets it. I don't know. Anyway, um, my mouse died at the end of what I was doing, so I had to plug that in. The desk is a mess again. <laughs> We've created, um, I need to work on mission inspiration, so I printed that out. So I've got that one. And then I created a new word list just for kids um, that'll be in the kids' art video. We're going to work on daily drawing tomorrow. Um, a kids only video for that so yeah it's just you know gonna be a weird time and you know we're gonna do what we can to stay home Polyus I think had his last day working in the office today he's gonna be working home from now on I think and he said there was scarily eerily no traffic on the freeway so Portland's not as crowded as California but usually there's pretty bad traffic on the way home and today there wasn't so I guess that's good. We need to all do our due diligence, right? Anyway, I'm going to go sit down and have some water and just chill for a minute before I start cooking dinner. And yeah, I'll be back in the morning. All right. I'll be hey, guys. I said earlier, I think that it's been a weird day. But in light of the current worldwide situation, I think it's going to be more weird days than not. I don't know. I looked at the pictures I took of the bag that I painted. It may be not as ugly as I think it might be. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know, dear. I don't think it turned out too well. Anyway, we're doing our due diligence and staying healthy and going out for a walk while maintaining a social distance from everybody else around us. <laughs> so anyway, we're going to go get some exercise and I'll be back. Hey guys, so good morning. I'm always talking to you from the garage lately. What is with that? Anyway, it is Thursday morning. It's about nine o'clock or so. We're expecting our contractor over in a bit. He's gonna be working on a leaky window and uh, fixing that and getting that all straightened up. I was just digging out some paint cans from back there back there back there um so he had at least the formula from the paint can for touch-up paint i don't know if there's enough in the cans to do what he needs but we'll find out i guess um listening to this morning's press conference from the white house i've watched more political crap since this whole virus thing started 
than ever, I think, in my whole life, since at least since Watergate. That dated me, didn't it? Um,
So we're out for our daily stroll. I was gonna say evening, Fred corrected me because it's, as you can see, light outside. We're going before dinner, bonus benefit to the kids living with us. The daughter is home keeping an eye on dinner and finishing up cooking dinner while I go for a walk with dad and the dog. I'm good with that. <sighs> Gotta take our joyful moments where we can, right? All right, I'll be back. It's Friday morning, March 20th, 7 oh, it says 6.01, that means it's 7.01, right? It's 7, it's, no, it's... Where is my clock in here? It's like completely 7 off. 7 7 7 yeah. We are, um, Fred Meyer just opened. They opened at seven. We intended actually to leave the house a little earlier, but we needed to have coffee. We're gonna go try to get a few groceries that I was unable to order for delivery for Sunday. I don't know how this is gonna go. <clears throat> it might be a crazy madhouse. It might be. There might be nobody there. We don't know. So we'll find out. And we're gonna, we've got our hand sanitizer. We've got baby, uh, baby wipes, Clorox wipes. wipes. We've got some popsicle sticks to push buttons. We've got gloves if we need them. So yeah, anyway, let's, let's go get, try to get some groceries. We'll find out, I'll be okay, back. Okay, we learned thir two things about early morning grocery shopping. Number one, do it any day except Sunday because Fred Meyer Fridays. doesn't. I mean, Friday, because Fred Meyer does not get restocking deliveries on Friday. That's right. So do it any other day of the week. <laughs> also, while there's more people here than expected, it's mostly a crowd our age or older, and everybody's very respectful, and I think it's way less crowded than it probably is at two or three o'clock in the afternoon. So, and we've tried a late evening, um, I don't think it was any more crowded than the late evening one, do you? No, it wasn't. But I think people were more respectful and less yeah. panicky. Yep. Maybe because they weren't quite awake yet. Maybe. So Maybe I think I think if we can't get stuff via grocery delivery, we'll be doing this again where we just get up at the butt crack and come into the grocery store. So we've sanitized our hands and we're back in the car and now we're going to go home and unload and have some more coffee because I really need more coffee. Still no toilet paper, no paper products, no hand sanitizer, no Clorox wipes. And no Clorox spray, no, 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 none of that. No flour, not a lot of baking things. No, I did order flour in the grocery delivery. Am I, get, am I gonna get it? I have no idea. No sugar. I'm actually thinking about going to the King Arthur website and seeing if I can get some flour from there. I'm doing more baking now that we're home for a couple of reasons. One, we all need something to do. And two, we can't get stuff. So. And we're not going out to eat. So. We're not going out to eat. So I've been doing more cooking, which is fine. I do like cooking. Um, so yeah, so I'm, I'm, I think we'll see what comes in the Sunday grocery delivery. And if I don't get my flour that I want, I might just go order some from King Arthur if I can. So we'll see. Um, yeah, we're going to fill up with the car with uh, gas on the way home because that's something you should all be doing is making sure, like in any other natural disaster, that your cars have a full tank. Yep, always make sure. Yeah. Fill it up when you get halfway. Yep. So we're going to go do that on the way home and then I guess head home and hunker down. The kids get their keys to their new house today. So during this whole virus thing, other than staying home and doing these every couple week crazy grocery shopping trips um we're going to be only going to their house like our places we're going are yeah. very limited so i did kind of feel bad about lecturing them last night and i've done it a few times about when they go out like to the hardware store or whatever to like be super clean i don't know that both of them are taking it serious this whole thing seriously i actually think polyus is taking it much more seriously than our daughter rebecca so they've been getting a few le mom lectures, but that's okay. A few? A few, well, maybe a lot. I'm trying to control it a little bit. I really don't want to get sick. Not right now. All right, that's it for the moment. 
I'll be back. It's just after three o'clock on Friday and I got a little bit of art done. I need to turn the computer off more right now, but, and I did turn it off, but I need to turn it back on because I filmed two little short kids art videos for the channel and then forgot to edit them. One of them's for tomorrow and I don't know what tomorrow or Sunday are gonna play out to be, so yeah, let's go do it now. It is Saturday afternoon. I don't know what time it is. I have no idea, but it's the 21st. Um, we are at the kids' new house. This is their backyard. Um, helping them do some cleanup. It is a fixer, so they've got some stuff to do to it before they can move in. Uh, so we're here lending a hand. One of the few things we can do in uh, the social isolation we're all trying to maintain, right? We keep finding interesting little things left by the former residents. I guess it was a mom and her two sons and uh, mom passed away and the sons needed to sell the house, which is sad, but um, you can tell the house was well loved and lived in and I uh, found an interesting recipe. I'll put a picture here for grape nut, mom's grape nut pudding, which doesn't sound good. Yeah. Anyway, I'll get some video where I can and I'll be back. gonna vlog outside but there's music in the background I don't know what's gonna do to copyright so we'll go inside. hey guys it is Saturday evening I don't know what time it is <laughs> I think it's uh, I don't think it's six o'clock yet anyway we spent the majority of the day at our daughter and future son-in-law's new house and um, it's a fixer-upper, so there's some things I need to do with it and or want to do with it before they actually move in. Bob and I have actually never accomplished that. We always have to move in amongst the construction, so kudos to them for accomplishing something I've never done. So they're going to be doing a certain amount of new construction um, remodeling before they move in, so they'll be here a few more weeks. Um, they're making great progress. The old owners left a few things behind and I have them on my table. <laughs> I brought a few things home. I mean, you know, we went through some was junk. There's a pile of donations. Um, they left a bunch of these plant clips, brand new bags uh, for um, growing vines and things. We understand from one of the neighbors, the lady who owned the house, um, lived there with two of her sons and um, she's the one who passed away and she loved her vines and her flowering plants. So these are probably what those were from. I'm thinking maybe I might be able to use them as clips to clamp some of my art together while it's drying, like my paper clips and stuff. So I'll let you know how that works. There was a bunch of little things like refrigerator magnets, like this is an, an iron. There's an old 
Mr. Coffee coffee pot and some things like that I brought home with me. Also this kind of cool old pair of scissors that I found, metal scissors. I want to try to clean up and maybe sharpen. Um, we'll see. Oops, I don't know how they'll sharpen. Oh, they're wh Whis. That's actually a good brand of scissor. Um, yeah, so I want to work on that. Some little like um, pill, pill boxes that don't look like they've ever been used. I thought this one might be nice for a really small like emergency watercolor kit. Emergency, because it's emergency, right? Um, it has three colors in it, so you could get your three primaries in there, which would work just great. Um, and then this one that had four. So a bunch of keys. Yeah, so there was a bunch of little things. So I liked, I liked the message on this magnet. Yeah. So anyway, it was fun. Helping them get the house ready, helping them move in. Here's another one. I don't remember seeing this one, but I brought it home. Huh, okay. Uh, anyway, and of course, Snoopy. Anybody who knows me knows I love Snoopy. So, anyway, so it was fun, but we spent the majority of the day there and we went through a bunch of stuff um, that needed to be sorted through for them. Um, got a pile of stuff ready to get rid of and also removed a whole bunch of hedges in the front of their house. Bob and I are pooped. <laughs> um, Bob did most of the work, but I helped at the, especially at the end. And yeah, we're both exhausted. So anyway, that's it for this week. It's been interesting and it looks like it's going to be interesting going forward with everything that's going on. Right. But I will share my journey with it with you and I will share how I'm coping and I will share when I'm not coping so well and maybe we'll just try to get through this together. Oh, I, I do want to say I found this really cool mini stapler. I don't know if I have staples that'll fit it, but it looks like the ones for the Tim Holtz stapler might fit it. So I'll find, I'm not going to look at it today, but it was pretty cool. Had to come home. Anyway, um, if you're having any particular ways of making it through what we're going through in the world right now with this virus, let me know. Let's share. Let's start a conversation. Join me either in the Facebook group, uh, Art Play Through Chronic Pain, or A Life of Art and Self-Expression. The first is my friend Cindy Utter's group. The second, A Life is my group. Um, let's start a conversation over there. Let's talk about how we're getting it through, how we're coping with everything that's going on, how we're managing to do our art, and how we're using it to keep us on a sane and even keel, right? All right, that's it for today. I hope you guys have all had a great week. Don't forget to check out the video description for any relevant links. Don't also forget to look at not only mine, but any of your favorite YouTubers' video descriptions. All of them, myself included, have ways you can support the free content, whether it's Patreon or an Amazon affiliate link or a PayPal tip jar or something, an Etsy shop, it doesn't matter. Click, go check out their description, find out what they have, click on the one that works for you, especially in this time when we're all struggling. We so, so, so appreciate it and appreciate you so very much. So that's it for today. That's it for this week. Don't forget to go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Get some fresh air, get a walk, hang with your family. This is the time to do that. We can't go anywhere else, but count those precious moments with your family because it's so important. That's it for now. I'll see you later. Bye, guys.